Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, it is I, Rifki And today I'm going to do the opening for our class I hope you're all good because we can't spoil this event with negative feelings Because this is the first meeting in the new academic year Yes, hooray, alhamdulillah We're in grade 5 now, you know, we're in grade 5 You know, it feels like time has gone by super super fast I don't even feel I'm in grade 5, but you know I am in grade 5 We've got teachers old and new. We've still got Miss Firda with us, so yeah! Hooray! And we've got a new teacher replacing Ustad Huri. That is Ustad Ramlan! Yes, Alhamdulillah! Woo! And we've got a new addition to the Sulaiman family. And his name is Mas Aska from Jakarta! What's up, man? Welcome to the family! Okay, so, from all that aside, you might be wondering, why am I here? Well, besides opening the class, I decided to share with you a hadith. But before I share the hadith with you, why don't we do the usual prayer that we usually do to open a class, huh? Is that, does that sound good? I knew it. Okay. Okay, here we go. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadar Rasulullah Aku bersaksi bahwa tiada tuhan selain Allah dan aku bersaksi bahwa Nabi Muhammad utusan Allah Raditu billahi rabba wa bil Islam dina wa bi Muhammadin nabiyya wa rasula Rabbi zidni ilma warzuqni fahma amin Aku rela Allah ihlaku Islam agamaku Muhammad Nabi dan Rasulku Ya Allah tambahkanlah ilmu kepadaku Dan limpahkanlah kepahaman kepadaku Kabulkanlah Ya Allah Tuhan semesta alam Amin Alhamdulillah amin Okay so now Now it's time for the hadith That you've probably all been waiting for Okay this hadith is about, drum roll please, health and free time. But in this video, we're going to talk mostly on the free time part. So, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said, there are two blessings that many people lose. They are health and free time. So, most of the time, people use their free time for doing like bad things. Things that aren't good. Not, not generally bad, but they're just not good for you, you know? Um, like, especially during this pandemic, you know, like we have like 30 minute learning time, 45 minutes. So we have like a lot, a lot of hours, a lot of minutes until, you know, the day ends. We have to go to sleep. We have a lot of free time. So instead of doing things that aren't good for us, like watching like TikTok videos or making one, maybe even like watching TV, playing games, maybe even, we should do good things, good things that are, that have benefits for us. Like... Um, doing sunnahs that we couldn't do before this pandemic, maybe even like you know fasting and stuff like that, um, or memorizing the Quran, reading the Quran, and um, let's say you know cleaning the house. Cleaning the house is good. It keeps coronavirus out of your house as well, and it also you know helps your body get sweaty, which is healthy, which is very very healthy. And things like creating, you can create something. You can, you can create something like a, a work of art or maybe like a drawing, like. Like here, I made a book. You can you can make it like a book for yourself, or maybe you can do like a karaoke if you don't like to make books. You know, you can do all that kind of stuff, and um, and those have a lot of benefits for you. Like the benefits for of like doing drawings and stuff like that, they can really boost that imagination of yours. You know, and um, sometimes, however, doing some of those things can get you bored, right? You know, sometimes they can get you bored. So there are ways people have found, people have invented some things that can help us learn while you know we we are we're still kept like creative and fun and stuff like that. Things like this strategic card game about matching numbers and stuff. It's called Uno. I'm pretty sure you've all played it once at least. And we also have Ludo, really fun. And here we also have a few books. You know. Books are really good for you. There are two types, uh, fiction and non-fiction. Non-fiction is the one that really uh, trains the knowledge, but this one trains the imagination. This is things like novels and comics, you know, all that kind of stuff. And basically to sum it up, to sum it up, you know, what I'm trying to say, 
When you have free time, use it very, very wisely. Never use it for bad things or non-beneficial things, yeah? Don't do it like that. Like if you say, if you have like two hours time that is like free, don't use it for like playing games. Why don't you use it to read a book? You know, I enjoy it. I, I personally enjoy reading books. Yeah, so basically that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope this will give you some advice, some life advice that, that you will teach your kids and your grandkids when you become older. That's all for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.